Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. My name is Arsalan and today we are on the 7th of building the problem solving skills with the help of Python. If you are very new to this channel, let me give you a very brief introduction of what this playlist is all about. In this playlist, we have been building problem solving skills with the help of Python. We started from a very basic question, then we have been moving on to difficulty level like anything. We started with the string data types, then we moved on to integers and then we moved on to booleans and right now we are focusing on list and in the future we will be covering all the data types now the question we will be tackling on day 7 is write a python function to find the index of the last occurrence of a specific element in a list so just before starting to solve this question please tell guys to subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel so what we have to do, we have to write a Python function to find the index of the last occurrence of a specific uh, element in a list. So we will be just, just writing the name of the function that is last occurrence, maybe. You can write the name as you wish. Now I will be saying my list. The name of the, thing for, the, name of the list will be my list and then I will be passing this. And after I pass this, I will be just writing print and I will be printing this last occurrence. All right. And I will be passing a list here that will be including items such as 5, 10, 15 exact replica of what I have taken as in my example. Now what we have to do actually here is we have to uh, actually give the uh, means there is an element here. We have to check whether this element inside is not all right, we have to check whether this element is inside this input list or not. And after checking that, we have to check its last, last occurrence. All right, Me last occurrence means that this is the first occurrence and this is the last occurrence, right? So, which means that the last occurrence will be, will be 1, uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, this will be the answer. That is why output is 3. So, this is the output of occurrence of 10. Now to tackle this question, we have taken a list. We have to also take an element here that will be coming as an input that have to be checked inside a list. Now, after I pass a list here, I have to also take 10 here. All right. Now, after I do this, I have to write a logic here. That pass value I have written, that was a temporary value. I have just rubbed that value and now I will be uh, uh, I have erased this, erased, erased that value. Now I will be writing a logic. Now to write the logic, what I will be doing here is I will be uh, of, of course creating a loop for i in range and I will be using a range function. Now the logic I will be applying here is guys simple, uh, simply uh, what log logic I will be applying here is I will be uh, uh, I will be just making this whole array whole list in a reverse order means I will be iterating this in the reverse order and to iterate this in a reverse order what I will be doing here is for i in range and I will be starting from where I will be starting from the length of length of my list going till minus one and it, it will be reverse order and if I print i you will be seeing that I will be getting I. So you can see 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So as you can see that we have got the elements as we were wished. But we will be starting len minus uh, my list. That will be our index uh, which is not there in the list. Alright. So this is the length. 4 is the length. And we are starting with 4. So we have to reduce this by 1. Because we have to start from minus 1. Minus one so len minus one will be this all right now if i print i will be getting values which will be including three two minus and zero now uh, what i will be doing here is i will be checking uh, if if uh, my list i is equals to element then print element and if I print the element, sorry, my list I print, uh, I will be printing print my list I. And 
द मोमेंट आई विल बी डूइंग दिस हेयर आई विल बी गेटिंग टेन टेन ऑफ कोर्स वाई बिकॉज आई हैव प्रिंटेड इट बिकॉज द अकरेंस ऑफ टेन इज ट्वाइस नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस इफ आई रिटर्न दिस आई विल बी गेटिंग इट ओनली वंस ऑल राइट नाउ सिंस इट्स इन द रिवर्स ऑर्डर आई हैव टू इफ आई जस्ट पुट i here instead of this because you have to i is checking the index of the list and if i return i here you can see i will be getting 3 here all right so this is what my approach was so to summarize this what i did here is i created a loop i created in the reverse order i iterated in the reverse order and why i did that because see first of all i have to check that uh, the element should match all right and i have to check the last index right so i for checking the last index i have to iterate in the reverse order so that i can check reverse means i can check it from backwards so i will be checking it from backwards so backward means i will be starting from i will be starting from the last index right so i started from the last index and i uh, keep checking it keep checking it until i get the element all right and if that element is not present i will returning minus 1 so suppose that this element is not present inside the list let's suppose i take an example which is not there means there is a list 5 which includes 5 10 15 and 10 but i take an element as 1 so what the example uh, what's the value which will be returned here is minus 1 so if i run this code you can see that i am getting minus 1 which means that i am getting a value which is not present inside the my list which i have taken so i have deal with both the condition whether if it it is present or not present now if i take another example let's suppose i take 5 here so what index it will be giving here me so it give me zero index and that is what it is supposed to, it has supposed to be giving me so you can see that it is giving me zero because 5 has only uh, there is only 5 one uh, one five inside my list so the index of 5 is zero so guys this was all in the question i hope you have understood this question i hope you have like you have been liking this playlist a lot and if you do so if you think that this playlist is really benefiting to you guys in building the problem solving skills so guys please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel and also do share it with your friends so that they can also get benefit from it thank you so much guys for watching this video and see you next time